for your blocking and, and the run up to the grab. Do you, do you think that the other part of it, the, the pass catching, got overlooked a little bit? That you might be uh, underrated in that regard. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, whatever is on tape is what people saw. So I'm just looking, you know, to prove that I can do whatever um, the coach asked me to do. I saw some film of you just shutting down a guy and he went out completely out of the play. Do you, is that fun for you? Is that something you enjoy? Yeah, I know. Um, one thing at Iowa is if um, you don't, um, if you can't run block, then I mean you don't play tight end at Iowa. So um, I took a lot of pride in it. Uh, you know, I, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of effort, and so you know, I mean, my favorite quote ever was um, moving a man from point A to point B against his will is the greatest feeling you ever feel. And so I take that to heart. And uh, you know, just being able to do that and bury somebody is a pretty good feeling. Legally too, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> can't get arrested for it. What have they told you so far about just what what's going to happen tomorrow when you guys get on the field? Have you seen the playbook or have you gone through installation or anything? I'm completely clueless. <laughs> so, I mean, we have meetings tonight, so, you know, hopefully I pick up something there. <laughs> what does it mean to have CJ here with you? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, he's a guy that, you know, we came into 2012 together as 18 year olds and, um, you know, I've caught every single pass from CJ for five years. Um, we lived together for a couple of those years and, uh, you know, just being able to be back in, uh, you know, on the football field with him is just it's going to be a great experience. And, um, you know, especially him, he, he's a football smart guy. He picks up playbooks and stuff really well. So he'll be able to help me out with that and help me pick it up fast, too. How much did the uh, 49ers ask you about him? I got asked by like five different coaches. Every, I feel like every time I sat down, the last question I got is, oh, what do you think about CJ? It's like, what do, you, what do you want me to say? He's a great guy. Uh -huh. There's been a lot of talk about his toughness. Can you kind of talk about some of the stuff he played through? I mean, he's a guy that he wouldn't come off the field unless they dragged him off the field, like no matter what injury it was or what he was, you know, ailing through. Um, you, I mean, if you saw that highlight against Indiana, he jumped over like six guys and I'm pretty sure he had like a sports hernia. Like, I mean, he, he doesn't care about his body. Like, he, he wants to win and he wants to do well for his team. So he'll do anything. Could, could he move a man from point A to point B? He's not moving me. <laughs> Maybe somebody else. Um, mention it maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, um, you know, he has a kid, um, so, so, um, you know, I have uh, I have a girlfriend back home, so we'll see. You know, if uh, you know, for you know, if we can, then probably yeah. Kyle Shanahan mentioned what he saw from him in 2015 was really impressive, and you guys obviously had a good season, went to the Rose Bowl, and then his numbers were down last year. Injuries at receiver, other. Th How do you assess sort of that drop off in production, just from a numbers standpoint? And whether or not that really matters in the big picture. Um, I mean, I personally don't think it matters because, um, I mean, he basically willed us to like 20 wins in two years. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I mean, he put the team on his back multiple times in games, you know, we might not have been playing well. But, you know, he's a guy that he, when he steps on the field, he steps on the field to win. Um, I don't think you get stats, numbers, it doesn't really matter because he's just a guy he's going to get the job done. Um, I mean, just I think it correlates with my explosiveness just coming out of a stance. Um, you know, that's one thing. Um, you know, at Iowa, I played at like 225 for three years. And so being that light, I had to use my explosiveness to be able to block guys that were 70 pounds heavier than me. So I think that just, you know, correlates to that and being able to get in and out of cuts, you know. Um, so, I mean, it, I think that'll help me in the long run. Is that lighter than you would have wanted to play? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was just kind of stuck my – first two years in college at about 225 and then um, kind of got over the hump and got up to 250. Have they told you what, you know, are you going to be an inline tight end? Couldn't or tell you. Okay. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get over the hump and was put on 25 pounds. Um, let's see. You make a couple of changes in your life, you know, decisions, you cut some things out that aren't helping you. And um, I had to grow up a little bit and that's about it. And you just focus on it. Uh, one thing I cut out, um, you know, I completely shut down my sh social life, basically. Um, you know, Iowa City, it's nothing really to do. It's basically just a college town. So it's one thing, you know, I got, I didn't really play much my first two and a half, three years, and well, two years, um, not including the red shirt. And I got tired of not playing. And so I made some changes, and, you know, that helped me out in the past two years. 
Uh, Jabaz is your dad from Football Analyst. Yes, he did. Did he have any professional opportunities? Or did he get any counseling? I mean, he, he tore his ACL his senior year, um, never got surgery on it, played in the Rose Bowl at the end of the season. And then when he got, he went to camp at the Redskins, I think it was 82, and then he re-injured his knee in camp, got cut. Mm -hmm. That was about it, though. Have fun and you know, just be who you are. How the combo from Football Analyst and Jeff Oh, it was incredible. I mean, it's like a dream of mine since I was a child. So being able to, you know, experience that, um, especially with my friends and family around, um, especially my mom and dad, it was just incredible. Um, something that I'll never forget. Favorite. When's the transition, or what's the transition like going from like, you know, this is us and the dream come true to now, hey, this is business and. I think I'm a little bit of both still. I mean, like I realized, um, you know, just preparing for the you know NFL draft, like how much of the business side of it is. But I mean, um, uh, the the kid in me still is you know cherishing this opportunity. When, when can you move out full time and just take part in the offseason program? Um, I honestly have no idea. So when, when is uh, when is your school? Oh, I, I'm gra I graduated in December. When is, when is Iowa? You're a fifth year guy, though. Right? Yeah, I was a fifth year guy, so I graduated oh, okay. in December. Oh so uh, yeah. I'm, I haven't been doing much except for working out. 